YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at another wearable. Um, if you've watched my channel, you know I have a couple tech hobbies, one of them being wearables. Love that stuff. Uh, I've got a Fitbit Flex, which is uh, an okay activity tracker. Not the best, not the worst. Um, I've got reviews on that. Go look at that. Next, I've got uh, on the other arm, just about every day, I have a Samsung Galaxy Gear smartwatch. I still think any of the Galaxy Gear watches, regardless of anyone you get, is still better than most Apple Watches and uh, Android Wear devices. The Tizen operating system on this is killer. Anyway, uh, I really like smart devices. I want to go full Android here. I want the Google Glasses. I want, you know, Bluetooth ear things. I want smart t-shirts. I want, you know, smart rings. All of it. So, um... A company contacted me not too long ago, gave me a coupon, said, here, try one of our products. I said, I don't know. Uh, it was very new, but now it's kind of gained some popularity, and it's unique, and I like unique products on this show. So, if you read the title, uh, it's the Lumo Lift. It's different. Uh, it's got a chick on the front. White packaging doesn't show up in my camera very well. Um, but this is really interesting. We're going to get right into this. So it's Lumo Lift. Uh, it has vibration feedback. It's posture coach and uh, it's an activity tracker. Uh, vibration feedback. We'll get into that in a second. Uh, the Lumo Lift. It's the posture activity coach. On the back, it says stand stronger, sit taller, and feel amazing. Uh, track posture and activity. Measures posture, steps, distance, and calories. Coaches uh, you to stand taller, vibrates when you slouch your upper back. Uh, syncs wirelessly, works with uh, mobile devices and computers. You can wear it discreetly. Uh, put it on under or over your clothes. It's up to you. You can stand stronger, improve your health, confidence, and appearance. And it's small, thin, and light. Such a tiny sensor you'll forget it's on. Uh, and then it's got uh, a picture of uh, an Apple device and the charging dock down there. Compatibility, and this kind of confused me. I read this and I was like, damn, go online, you'll find something else. Uh, compatibility, iPhone 4S and newer, iPod Touch 5th Gen and newer, iPad 3rd Gen and newer, iPad Mini 1st Gen and newer. Full list of supported devices at lumobodytech.com slash compatibility. No mention of Android in here. I read this and I was like, What? Because I'm, I'm not an Apple guy. Uh, my spouse has one, but I I don't. Uh, I went on their website. Yes. Just about any uh, five-year-old or newer uh, Android device will also work with this. Uh, this is kind of the original packaging. They've never updated this yet. Uh, but soon after launch, they did uh, get it over to Android. So you got Android, you're in the, you're in the clear. And then on the side here, it tells you what's in the box. Uh, and I'm not going to tell you what's in the box. We'll, we'll find out together. So the Lumo Lift uh, obviously sets itself apart from all other fitness trackers with the whole uh, posture thing. Uh, and I think that's unique and really awesome. Um, I know with you know a lot of my tech habits, my posture is not fantastic. Uh, even right now, I feel like I'm slouching. Uh, or, you know, if I'm sitting in front of one of my 8,000 computers, I'm probably not sitting as as nicely or comfortably as I should. Uh, even right now, I'm kind of leaning into the microphone here because uh, I, I it's not that great. Activity trackers are all over the place. The posture thing is one thing that, that's, that's great about this. So, lift this up. The chick comes off of there. Uh, and packaging is still great here. Actually, pretty pretty nice packaging. So it says, uh, charge the Lumo Lift, page four. Download the Lumo Lift app uh, from the Apple App Store. More confusing stuff. They do have an app on the Play Store, though. Just search for Lumo Lift to find us, or you can visit us on the web at lumobodytech.com slash get hyphen app. Wear the Lumo Lift is step three. And then step four is get coaching sessions and vibration reminders. Uh, and then they've got the little book uh, in here. And it references a couple different pages uh, for that. Next. 
we've got this. It's a black magnet. Magnet on one side, black on the other side. Next, another clasp looking thing. It's got this, if I can hold it correctly. It's got like a, it's really, really hard to see. It's got like a Nissan looking pointing arrow. Uh, and then more magnets on the back. Whoa! Just barely. Yeah, these have neodymium magnets in it, so they're ultra powerful. I barely got it close to that little black one that I showed you earlier. Boom, sucked it right up. Next. Oh, I see this. It's got the charging cord in the back. Put this through the packaging. Charger. It's got that Apple-esque look. Uh, it also mentions that there's Bluetooth on the back. Uh, it's got that, yeah, app, very Apple-esque, you know, gray sort of uh, color table like you have an old uh, MacBook. And last but not least, we've got the silver-looking square that we saw in the packaging just on top of that. There's that. And then we've got this, the uh, fitness tracker itself. Kind of hard to see. It's got, uh, oh, that makes sense. It's got a little up arrow uh, on here, which I assume corresponds to the up arrow uh, on this clasp. And then uh, on the back, you've got uh, two little contacts uh, to meet the charger. So I guess that's it. Charger kind of fits in there. Uh, charger is magnetic, so when you, I mean, it's just like it got that cradle look, but when you put it in there, it not going to fall out. So I'll get that charged up. Uh, while I'm hanging out here, we will take a look at the manual that they taped shut for some reason. That just ripped, totally ripped the manual. Um, yeah, really confusing. Everything says App Store and Apple, uh, but I was on their website. They do say Android. So it says what's in the box, which we've kind of gone over. The silver and black magnetic clasps, the Lumo lift itself, the strap clip, which is also magnetic, which is this piece, a non-decorative piece, and the charging dock. It says charging the Lumo lift on here. Plug the charger into the USB source, line it up with the charging pin so that they make contact. From 0%, it will take two hours to fully charge. One ch charge lasts about four days. So four days, that's pretty good. Uh, better than an Apple Watch. Uh, the joke I heard today was, how do Apple users know when it's 12 noon, when their battery runs out? Because that's about how long it lasts. By the time you start your day, it's dead by noon. All right, and then it has uh, on this other page, meet Lumo Lift. Uh, it says button functions. If you push it once, I, don't even, I never even knew there was a button. Oh, there is a button. All right, so uh, the tracker itself, you can kind of see that it is, maybe you can't see it because everything's white. You can kind of see that there's a sort of indented ring around the uh, center. So this whole top part kind of presses down onto the unit uh, like one big button. A single press gives you the battery status. A double press will align it. Uh, I assume since it has an accelerometer in it, it will align it with your normal posture. And then if you're slouching or something like that, it'll vibrate to remind you, hey, posture thing, uh, you know, stand tall. But I feel like that might get annoying after a while because if you're intentionally slouching, maybe like I am now trying to get close to the microphone, or if I'm, you know, hunched over working on something, that might get annoying. If you press and hold, it will start slash end the coach. Light status. Uh, it, if it is pulsing blue, it's connecting to the app. If it is green, the battery is above 20%. If it is orange, the battery is below 20%. And then it has buzz patterns. If it's one buzz, coach has started. Two buzzes, coach has ended. And three buzzes, the alignment is complete. Picture uh, of a couple pieces of clothing here. Slide the sensor behind your clothes close to the body. Attach the magnetic clasp on the outside for best results. Wear it directly below your collarbone. That makes sense, kind of like a lapel 
pin sort of thing, like, you know, right above where your, like, a pocket or something would normally be on a shirt. Uh, let's see, to wear the strap, um, please use the included uh, white strap clip. Double press to align each time you wear the Lumo Lift. Uh, the Lumo Lift is not optimized for loose clothing. If you wear loose clothes, it's got a picture of a t-shirt here. Um, wear Lumo Lift close to the body. For example, place a Lumo Lift on your undershirt or bra strap using the included clip. Uh, accessory and it's kind of got a picture on there on it as to how to attach it uh, to the top part of your bra or something like that. So uh, once again it mentions to align the Lumo lift each time. Uh, get into good posture, shoulders back and head lifted. Double press uh, the sensor to align our way of calibrating. This teaches Lumo lift uh, what your best posture looks like. Align it every time, reposition the sensor. Uh, before and during a coaching session. And then uh, get vibrations with coaching sessions. Want Lumo Lift to remind you to be in good posture. So that's good. You can turn it on and off. So it's not just annoying you the whole time because I'm sure that that may get annoying for some people. Uh, to start the coach uh, button, tap the coach button uh, in the app to start the coaching session. Lumo Lift gently vibrates when you're not in good posture. You can also start and end coaching sessions from your Lumo Lift sensor by pressing and holding the button. And on the back it says pacemaker warning. That might be problematic, so don't wear that if you have a pacemaker. And then it talks about the warranty. Uh, let's see, it says a 90 day warranty. Not that great. And that's about it. So I'm going to check it out. Let me know if you guys have uh, any questions at all. Also on the back here, I noticed that the way that these are sort of clipped in, this is the back of the packaging, everything was kind of magnetically attached to the front like, like that. Uh, magnets on the back are equally good. I mean, the magnets on the back are like the exact same size as these magnets. Um, so I'm probably going to take these off and clean them up and... I'll probably use them as, you know, maybe replacement uh, magnets for, you know, if these fall out or something like that. So just something that I noticed. Uh, but that's it, guys. I'm going to try it out. Uh, it's not obviously not charged. I have no idea how it's charged. And I put it behind my shirt, and it just clips on like that. So it kind of looks like I'm wearing a goofy little lapel pin. And, uh, yeah, just sits right here below my collarbone or something like that. So I can see how that uh, that works. Uh, it's very lightweight. Uh, you can't kind of feel it there because this thing is not, I mean, it's not. It's not that thin. I mean, this would be thin. I mean, that's you know, just a magnet with a little plastic housing on it. But that, I mean, that's I don't know, a quarter of an inch thick or something like that. Uh, but with these strong magnets, one thing to note: neodymium magnets are ridiculously strong. Um, don't go putting that near your cell phone or anything like that. Don't try wearing that in the same pocket that your phone is in. Uh, you might might goof something up like that. So that's that's the brown one if you want to accessorize. Oh, totally just dropped that thing. Lost it forever. Uh, there's the silver one. And then there's the clasp. Uh, I'm not wearing a bra right now. Um, but, yeah, the clasp would just go over it like this. And then it's got a little gap uh, in the middle for your... Uh, bra or undershirt or you know whatever whatever you got going on so that's that's that I'm gonna try to get this working I'll try this out and then come back in I don't know we'll say three weeks from today and uh, I'll let you know let you know how it goes so uh, stay tuned make sure you're subscribed we've got lots more videos coming up on uh, different wearables and a whole bunch of other things that I have queued up so make sure you're staying tuned for that I appreciate it guys thank you